Okay, next, very simple but very powerful uh, step that I will show you is that we are going to make machining of these uh, areas. Okay, these areas of the part. So, here is a life hack in Sprut Cam. So, in order to add uh, all these surfaces to the job assignment, I need to select them. So, because they are similar, if I make a double click on one of them, Sprut Cam automatically um, shows me all of them. So, you can see it one more time. Okay, one second. I will turn off the job assignment visibility. I don't need it here. Okay, so double click on the surface and all of the similar surfaces are selected. As you have maybe, uh, maybe noticed, I selected them not creating a new operation. So now if I create new operation, uh, these selected surfaces will be automatically added to job assignment. Look how it works. So I choose a roughing waterline operation, simple one. That's it. And now if I go to the job assignment, I can see that all these surfaces which were selected are now in the job assignment, which is what I need. Next, I will change the tool so we can see that the uh, width of this uh, element is 10 millimeters. So I will take something less than 10. For example, let's take six millimeters, select tool for the operation. Okay, wait a second, let's change it. We need a toolkit, low carbon steel toolkit. That's it. So here we have a tool with a holder in the library. Okay, nice. And what I need to do is just to press run. That's it. Let's check the toolpath. Here's the toolpath. Okay, very simple one, but powerful and really, really quick. So. Sorry, let's simulate a little bit uh, slower. So I press reset of the workpiece, simulate uh, simulate up to current operation, and then press uh, run. Okay. So basic, uh, but um, why not? Okay. Verify, compare, everything is nice. Okay, next I will show you much more advanced and much more controllable way of machining these areas with a 2D contour operation in the next video.